Hey guys and welcome to A Gunner Down Under. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the big Champions League game between Arsenal and Barcelona. Okay, so let's cut straight to the chase. Final score, Arsenal nil, Barcelona 2. Messi 2. It, it, was, it was an interesting game, guys. I mean, to be honest, for the first 70 minutes I was incredibly proud of our performance and, and obviously frustrated with some of the chances that we, that we missed, which I'll, I'll delve into in a little bit. Um, it's hard to contain MSN for 90 minutes, and obviously we couldn't do that. The one thing that sticks out to me, and I've been thinking about this all day, the two goals were so incredibly preventable. It wasn't like Messi and Neymar and Suarez dominated for the entire 90 minutes and they scored from halfway and we just, like, too good. The first goal, Coquelin had the chance to push forward and be more aggressive with the ball and he goes backwards and that just set us back and it allowed Barcelona to push up and that caused the turnover which then obviously turned into an, a very impressive counter-attack. 16 seconds from one end of the field to the other. Neymar, Suarez, Messi, goal. You know, and first time Messi scored against Czech which he soon follows with another penalty which we'll get into in just a sec. So we did exactly what I thought we needed to do. We were very compact at the back but we, we didn't sit too deep and we hit them hard on the break. And I was surprised, obviously, I thought Welbeck was going to start, but Chamberlain started and he started very brightly. There were a number of chances where he was one-on-one -on, -one on the right wing and he did some great things. His pace was very beneficial for our team. Men of the match, I think Monreal and Bellerin, they were unbelievable. Bellerin facing Neymar, who's one of the most informed players of the past year, did an incredible job. There were times, obviously, that Neymar's class just shone and he got through. He would have gotten past any defender in the world. But Bellerin, at that age, at 19 or 20 years old, against three of the top four attackers in the world, he just did an outstanding job. And Monreal, with Messi, with the best player on the planet, some of the tackles he was laying when he was on a yellow card, he put the foot in at the right time. He's one of the best, he's got to be in the top five best left backs in the world. Surely he's, he's up there, he's that good. And it's just incredible some of the progress he's made in the past, you know, 24 months. It's just unbelievable and he was just incredible. Murder Saka, again, very frustrating with the penalty and, and the changes that, that Wenger made, I thought were just quite wrong. I think that kind of did set us back. I think Welbeck should have come on a lot earlier because when he did, he made a massive difference. The one change, which you guys know I'm going to mention, Flamini. We bought El Nene. We bought El Nene and we bring on Flamini and within 43 seconds, like Wenger told him to do it, like he said, I'm going to give you an extra, you know, 50 grand this week if you, if you just end this tie now so we can just focus on the league and the FA Cup, just get it done with. And he just comes in, 43 seconds in, and he just gives away a penalty, rolls up his sleeves, you know, looking all tough like he's a leader, and he's just cost us the tie, you know, it's just... What, why don't you bring on Alnay now? We had Campbell on the, on the bench, and for all the hard work he's put in all season, he doesn't even get a gig. You know, it's just... Just these changes. El Nene at least can take some long shots. Put him up against the best. What are we wrapping him in cotton wool for? He's not been in any big games yet. Are we saving him for United? I really hope so. I mean, it's just some of these changes baffle me. And I just knew from the first miss that we had, which was the, um, I think it was one where we cut through and Ramsey had that left foot that were kind of, you know, he kind of scuffed. Uh, but then the main one, the main one with Chamberlain, he just... That's the difference. That, that is why we struggle in these competitions. Messi doesn't hesitate. Neymar doesn't hesitate. Suarez missed a few. You know, it should have been more. He missed at least two or three sitters, hit the bar, missed the header. But we just hope, don't have that, that clinical finisher. And Giroud obviously tried his best. He had a header that was stat, you know, saved some couple, couple of great chances for him. Sanchez, when, when did he have any decent shots apart from the one he had in the box when when, you know, there were 10 players in front of him and it was going to be blocked anyway, you know, it's just... He's such a good attacker, but he's been so off lately and his energy was there today and his energy's always there, but where's the... Where's that final... That ball, that final finishing part of his game? I really hope it comes back for United. We could have at least gotten a draw out of this. We could have... We should have scored first. We had a couple of chances. You know, Welbeck's chance where he flicked it down to Ramsey. Just all these half chances that could have made the difference and it reminded me... That, particularly that Chamberlain miss, it reminded me of, you guys will remember, that Ozil penalty a couple of years ago, Bayern Munich at home. First 20 minutes, he cuts it back, gets the penalty, and miss, you know, and it's saved. And 
and then we lose that tie. I think that was the tie that we lost 3-1 and we needed to go and score three goals away. We ended up scoring two away and losing on goal difference or away goals. If uh, my memory serves me correct, let me know. But that's exactly what this game was like. We needed, and I told you in the in the preview, we needed to score first and we didn't. Uh, Ramsey, his passing is just a bit lazy sometimes. I Everyone rates his um, box-to-box running capacity and obviously that was... That was shown in the first half. He ran the most out of any uh, any play. He ran almost seven kilometers in the first half of the match. I heard on on SBS. But his passing is just so lazy sometimes. That part of his game really let him down. And and often, in a, you know, a couple of years ago, that was covered up by the goals he was scoring. But he hasn't scored a goal in a long time in a big game. So I'm hoping against United again that we that we bounce back. But. For 70 minutes, we got everything spot on. We should have been leading it after 70 minutes. I'm going to say that. But with the class of Barcelona, you always knew if you didn't take those chances early, they were going to come back and bite you. And that's exactly what happened. The atmosphere was incredible. The, the, the vocals, you know, the crowd got into it. The light show at the beginning of the match was, was great. Everything was great for 70 minutes. And I was so proud of us. And I'm still actually very proud of our performance. We can really hold our heads high. And we gave them a tough battle. We did. We really did try hard. We got stuck in. We pressed them. We attacked them. We generated chances. The cutting edge... That's the difference. Flamini, can we start a petition where we can get 10,000 signatures from, from Arsenal supporters to, to terminate his contract? Because, I know this, <laughs> this might sound a bit harsh, but he cost us today. We could have gotten a draw. And then he comes on and the tie's done. Anyway, guys, we've got United next. My preview for that will be up in a day or two, so just stay tuned for that. I'll leave your comments below. Were you proud of us? Are you, do you think that even playing the best team in the world, we learn something and this actually can be an advantage uh, into the Premier League and FA Cup um, fixtures that we've got next? You know, learning off the best, can that, can that be something to catapult us for the rest of the season? Um, or is this going to hurt our confidence? I don't think it'll hurt our confidence. Um, I just think we'll be disappointed, but we'll obviously stick to what works and we'll go to United and hopefully get a result there. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Great feedback from you lately and stay tuned for my preview against United. It's going to be a big one. Catch you later.